Hello and welcome to my presentation today. My name is Hesta Bong from the class DKA5C and my registration number is 05DKA18F2039. Today I will be presenting briefly on the subject of DCC6223 Reinforced Concrete Design. So what is Reinforced Concrete? Reinforced Concrete is one of the main materials used in many civil engineering applications such as building constructions, retaining walls, foundations, and many more. Concrete is about 90% weaker in tension than it is in compression. Steel, however, has higher tensile strength, but has the same thermal expansion and it bonds well with concrete. Reinforced concrete is A, a strong and durable building material, and B, its utility and versatility is achieved by combining the best features of concrete and steel. Moving on to the properties of reinforced concrete. First, it is high in strength and tensile strain. Next, it is very durable in the concrete environment. It also has a good bond to the concrete. Last but not least, reinforced concrete has good thermal compatibility. Now, here is a brief explanation on bending method of a reinforced concrete bar. This process is carried out after the cutting of a reinforced bars. The process uses a hand bending tool, which is placed on a table. It is important that the table be long enough to place the reinforcement bar. If the bar is too long, then two bending devices will be used. Note, bar bending should be done slowly. This is to prevent capillary cracking. As for bars with a larger diameter, the bar should be heated first before bending. However, a high yield reinforcement bar cannot be heated at all. After the cutting and bending process of the reinforced concrete bar, the bar work will then be tied with wires. This is to avoid movement, especially when concreting work is in progress. The wire bonding used has a diameter of 0.8 mm to 1.6 mm. Moving on to the connection method for our reinforced concrete. There are three types of connection, which we have the lap joint, butt joint, and the fillet joint. Lastly, before I end my presentation, it would not be complete without you knowing the types of reinforcement. There are mainly two types of reinforcement, which is a reinforcement bar that consists of mild, mild steel round bar, high tensile deform bar, and high yield deform bar. Then there is B, which is reinforced steel mesh. This consists of hexagonal wire mesh, welded wire mesh, and also framework. That is all for my presentation today. Thank you for watching.